Our number one objective is for the parents and the students, the younger kids that come through to see all of our kids, our FFA members in those purple and white FFA shirts, working hard, uh, working together, having fun. Um, that's that's going to leave an impression in their mind. And hopefully they'll say, I want my kids to be a part of that, or I want to be a part of that when I'm old enough. What do you think you'll be able to take and apply to your life from this? How to show leadership with others and really if you plan on living on a farm, you have to know how to break animals, and we've learned how to do that, and we've learned how to trust each other, and it's just an amazing program that I think everyone should be a part of. Definitely, I'm going to learn to be more responsible, because there's so many things that we do here that if we were just in any other type of class, we wouldn't learn. Hard work can lead to happiness and a fun time. It just really warms your heart to hear the stories that they tell about the lambs and uh, how they get attached to the lambs and, uh, and different things, you know, that they've done. And, and I told them, I said, one day, I said, y'all will be telling y'all's grandkids, you know, about this. And, and they said, well, you know, that'd be a long time away. And I said, it'll be here before you know it. Kevin provided us with the best group of sheep we've ever had. It's so much fun to watch those mm -hmm. kids fall in love with these animals. And my chore, I believe, one of my chores is to instill in them the idea that it's all right to, to look this animal in the eye and call it your pet and still know that ultimately it's going to be your dinner. We gave it, we gave it everything we could today and at the end of the day they were still some pretty good sheep for us. So. You got attached to the sheep? Yes, sir, I did. I, I, <laughs> I like it. She's treated me good. I treated her good. And we finally got to bond with each other for a little while. The different attractions uh, that we have include a zoo. We have a zoo with a lot of different uh, animals, and that's usually dictated by what the kids can bring in. You know, what we have this year is probably not going to be what we have next year. It depends on what the next group of kids have to bring. Well, I got her in grade school from, they had a petting zoo at school, and they said if you wanted it, I could take it home, so I just took it home. Whether you're going into a career in agriculture or not, the soft skills that you'll learn in this program, the people skills, the leadership skills, uh, learning how to speak in front of a group, you know. Some of the kids that you interviewed for that last uh, segment, um, a lot of people had a hard time believing that they could speak as well as they did. And, you know, they may not be a professional speaker just yet, but who knows? They may get there. They're, they've taken those first steps.